Good morning, you guys, or at least morning. It's not a good morning for me anyways. Good morning, afternoon, night, whenever it is that this video decides to find you. It is currently 9.07 in the morning. My parents, they were supposed to take Caleb to work and then head up to North Platte. Um, but they are heading that way now. Let me explain. The hospital called. My grandpa no longer wants to do the surgery. At this point, since he doesn't want to do the surgery, they will move him to palliative care, which again is hospice care, where they take away all the medications and just give morphine for pain. They said that he could be gone within the next couple of days or up to a week. It's no longer two weeks, you guys. They said up to a couple of weeks, so he could make it. I'm more worried about my mom than I am me because my mom's losing her other parent. I don't know if she can stay sober through all this. And I don't want her to throw away nine years of being sober. I am the only kid that seems to be giving a fuck that doesn't care about the stuff that I get from it. I have been there by my mom's side through all of it and something that my dad said that really pissed me off last night was like, you. he said that I didn't care up until this point. So why do I care now? I have cared, okay? I am a mom raising three beautiful kids, okay? Showing emotion is very difficult because Day after day, you have to put on a smile and act like everything is okay for them. You have to stay strong for the people that need you. And right now, my kids need me. It's not that I didn't care. I love my grandpa, and I have been there since day one of all of this. So the fact that my dad said that, he had the nerve to say that to me, I wanted to punch him in the face right then and there. Where is he in all of this? He may have went up to North Platte with my mom today, but where has he been? He has a, He has barely been a part of any of this. I have been the one dealing with all of this. With her. Where are all the rest of my family members? Waiting for him to die to get his shit. I don't care about the things. Yes, they are great memorial pieces. And every single piece of clothing or jewelry or anything that I get from my grandpa means something to me. I don't want them. I just get them because that is the right thing for my mom to do. Because my grandpa and my grandma meant so much to a lot of people. So before anyone comments negative shit in the comments, I would... Think twice, because I am not in the mood to listen to negativity today. Honestly, we just shut off comments on this video, to be honest. I will keep everyone updated on all of my platforms, because I will be taking time off of social media, because that is the last grandparent on my mom's side. After this, I have no other grandparents besides my grandma and grandpa Hebel, or Horncall, horn call on my dad's side. My mom is a mess right now, and I'm worried about her sobriety. So before anyone comments anything negative, think twice, please. I love every single one of you, but when it comes to things like this, leave the negativity alone, okay? Please? I will be taking time off of social media once he goes to focus on me and my mom. To plan the funeral, and then I will come back after he is put to rest. I will still, I will have a lot of videos pre-recorded, okay? And I will still be uploading, but it won't be, like, I'll be caught up eventually. You guys know that. But I love you guys, and, um... Hope you guys enjoy this crazy video at Call Life.
Hey guys, so my grandpa decided to go to comfort care. I don't know if I mentioned that or not, but if I didn't, then um, yeah. Sorry. That's like, the newest update I've gotten. I haven't received any messages since like 10 something this morning. It's like noon. I'm just, I decided to come down here and get some stuff done. I'm trying to keep myself busy the best I can about losing my mind. That's fine. I'll be okay, guys. I have to be. My girls are counting on me. The small black one might end up passing away. It's just not like moving up and like moving like the rest of them. There's still hope. And I'm hanging on to that. As for my grandpa, there is no hope. He already made up his mind. So. <laughs> I also want my brother's kids to stay the night tonight, so I'm really trying to get some stuff done so that way I can make that happen. I need it. So I'm just picking up clothes and so getting it ready for when Ever they get home. I don't know what my dad's doing in the store. He's like the only thing I'm really waiting on. But it's okay. Hi, kitten. Now I have to start planning funeral arrangements with my mom for my grandpa. And that's just what I have to do. I really don't like being alone, so like I'm really trying to like talk to y'all and just like act every like everything's okay. It's okay. I've already played my games. I already made lunch. Ziva threw hers all over the floor. She ate a little bit of it, so like that's all that matters. But yeah, I love you guys. I'm just trying to keep myself busy is all. I'm just trying really hard. It's okay, everything's gonna be okay. Everything is going to be okay. Yeah, I did. Oh my god. <laughs> We'd have to pull over. Update on my grandma. Like, like, he's gonna make it throughout the night. And then it affects my brain. I'll keep you guys updated. Like, I don't have to like, call. Like, so I don't need to vlog I don't know. Okay, so we decided to come up tonight just in case. Um, we just got here to the palliative care place, so keep you guys updated. Prayers, please. <laughs>